Hi everyone, today we're going to discuss how to record a Google Meet without permission. First of all, I want to highlight that you need to read your local laws when it comes to recording. Do you have one party consent law or two party consent law? We have a video about that, but in the United States in particular, half of the states allow you to record the meeting without permission. But now let's start with the recording. So first of all, in Google Meet Native Recorder, you cannot record the meeting without permission because everyone is going to be notified that the meeting is being recorded. That's why there are three ways that I can share with you how you can do it. First way, you can use Blue Dot AI Chrome extension. In order to install it, you need to go to the Chrome store, then install it, and it's free for up to five recordings. Once Blue Dot extension is installed, you click on it, and it offers you to record the meeting and notify the participants. You can select if you want to notify or not. And if you don't notify, then you're basically recording the meeting without permission. And you select if you want to record video and audio or audio only, I want the video. Then you select what kind of meeting it is. So if it's like a general type of meeting, just select general notes and don't think about it. But if it's like sales, customer success, or like very specific meeting, you can select it here. Then the language by default English, and start the recording. So when you start the recording without the notification, well, basically no one is gonna know that you're recording. Beside here, you would have this tab open, but no one is gonna see that. And uh, in the chat bar, there is nothing. So basically, we're recording right now. And what I really love about Blue Dot is that once the meeting is over, you have the full transcript of the meeting. You can search across the transcript. You can basically, in the search bar, search for any word or phrase that was said in any of the recording and Blue Dot would highlight this moment so with the timestamp so you can go into this moment and rewatch this particular part. And now the second way to record. Second way is you can use your phone. Just install the phone somewhere near your computer, start the recording and that's it. You basically record your meeting without permission. The third way you can use QuickTime or OBS and let me show you how you can do it first with a QuickTime. I'm using Mac, but it should work similarly on a Windows. So first you need to open a QuickTime and now it opens the folders. Here it's a little bit tricky. It took me time to learn how to actually initiate the recording. So you need to click actually oh, here in the dock, just right click and click new screen recording. Now select which part of your screen you want to record. So for example, with Blue Dot, it only records the meeting itself, not the whole screen. But here it would record everything. So that's why, for example, I would just select the meeting and you start the recording. Now you have your meeting, you record your screen and you record without permission. And in order to stop the recording, you need to go up here and click on this recording button. That's it. Now you have the recording, the meeting was recorded. That's it. And the third way is using external tools like OBS. So I click on the OBS and here with OBS, it takes a little bit time to set it up. So I already set it up, but at the beginning it was like that. You just select which part of the screen you want to record. Here you have a little bit more, let's say, complicated settings. But once you set up everything, you just start the recording. It starts immediately. That's what I like. And um, yeah, I can have my Google meeting. It's going to record the whole screen. Just uh, be cautious of it. So every time you go somewhere outside of the meeting, it's going to be recorded. Now let's just stop the recording. And unfortunately, unlike QuickTime, it doesn't open the video immediately. So it's it's somewhere in the folders. So you need to find it. But now you basically recorded your video without permission. Okay, so we looked at different ways how you can record your Google Meet without permission. And let's sum it up with advantages and disadvantages of each of these ways. So first, OBS and QuickTime, I would put them in the same bucket. Uh, both of these tools are great when it comes to uh, the price. They're free. Um, and the quality of the recording and uh, OBS has a good versati versatility. So you can make the recordings quite complex with different sources of audio, video and so on, but if you need it. And when it comes to Blue Dot, I think the biggest advantage is that this tool is designed for Google Meet. So there's everything created for you to quickly record the meeting. You can notify people, you can not notify people, you immediately get the link to the recording that you can share with the team if you need. There is a full transcript, you can search across all the videos. So it's a much better design tool. The only disadvantage is that you need to pay from 18 to $25 per month for this product. 
but if you need to record your videos, it's definitely worth it. And the last but not least, recording with your phone that stays somewhere near your computer. I mean, the, the biggest advantage as well is that it's free, and the disadvantage is that uh, first you need to share it somewhere on your computer, um, the quality is going to be bad, and uh, so many other things that might go wrong with recording it with your phone. So that's it. Let me know if it was helpful, or if you know some other ways how you can record a Google Meet without permission. Wish you a great day. Bye.